Hi, I'm Lauren. Um, I'm about to get my lips enhanced. This is something I've like wanted to do for a few years now and I'm finally taking the plunge. So I'm really nervous, um, but I'm really excited because I've worked with Susan before and she's um, done laser hair removal on me and so I really trust her and so I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Lauren is here for a filler for her lips and I'm gonna to explain to her a little bit about what she's going to expect. So the fillers are made of a hyaluronic acid gel and our bodies produce that naturally. So our bodies will receive it naturally. So it's, it's a great filler to use for plumping up the lips or any other area of the face. And I also want you to know that whatever we do put in is completely reversible. We do have a reversing agent, so if you don't like what you see, then we can dissolve it completely. Good. <laughs> so what you're going to do today is we're going to take some pictures and we're going to put some, cleanse your area, put some numbing cream on and that'll be on for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. And then we'll take that off, cleanse again, and then we'll start your injections. And I'll go nice and slow. Okay. And so I'm going to make it as comfortable for you as possible. So, do you have any questions, Lauren, that I can answer? Yes, I do. Um, how big is the needle? So, the needle is about 27 gauge, which means, so for Botox, for instance, we use a 30 gauge needle, which is kind of like the size of a hair. Um, for injectables, for the gel to pass through, we have to use a slightly bigger, although the number is a smaller number, it means a little bit bigger gauge, but it's still a small needle. And okay. it's very short. Okay. How long do the effects last, whatever you put in? <laughs> so generally in the lips, you will have about, you will get about six to nine months. Because we move our mouth so much, um, and if you do any kind of activity, so if you're active, if you go to the gym on a regular basis, um, the filler doesn't seem to last as long. Some okay. people get a year out of it, but Generally speaking, in the lips, it's about six to nine months. Okay, so how much filler do you put in? Um, yeah, I'm just curious. So I have this little syringe, it's a five ml syringe, and I wanted to show you this. We Each syringe that we use is only one ml, so basically that is about all you're gonna have, and that's for the upper and lower lip. It's a very, very small amount of gel. Um, so what can I expect to look like today after it happens and what can I expect um, downtime, um, any activities I can do today or tomorrow, what is this going to feel like? <laughs> so um, basically you will have a little bit of swelling today. Okay. Um, swelling is the most pronounced usually the day after. So today you'll have a little bit of swelling, tomorrow it may be a little bit more. And that subsides over the next week or so. But each day it gets a little bit better, but tomorrow it will be a little bit more swollen than it will be tonight. Um, you can use ice packs, and that'll help with the swelling. And I would prefer you don't use Motrin, Advil, Ibuprofen, Aleve, Excedrin, because those can tend to cause more okay. bruising. So okay. Tylenol would be okay to take. Tylenol, okay. Okay, Lauren, so let's go get you started. You ready to do this? Yeah, I'm ready. Yay! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're just applying numbing cream to the lips and the surrounding area of the lips. And I'll give you a tissue. Sometimes you get it in your mouth and it tastes <laughs> terrible and you can spit it out. And your tongue, your tongue might get a little numb. That's about it. Hey, so I have the numbing cream on right now and I can't tell if I'm drooling or not. Um, and my tongue is super numb. <laughs> and I don't even know if I'm closing my mouth all the way, actually. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really excited. I think I've only got, what, a couple more minutes left before we we're start. start. Yeah, so I'm getting excited. It smells clean. This is Hiva Cleanse, which is, I like to use it um, better than alcohol because alcohol is so drying. And this is chlorhexidine, which is really great for an antimicrobial. No infection here. Good. So this is Bobo. 
he's vibrating. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, but he's supposed to help with the pain, so I have something to focus on if I do feel any discomfort whatsoever. And uh, he's pretty cute, so. sensation like I can feel it yeah you want me to get the ice pack so is this like how big that they are this or? is how big they're going to be okay but t tonight and tomorrow they're going to swell up a little bit okay and you can ice it mm -hmm. and when you first wake up in the morning it's going to be a lot more swelling okay but it subsides as the morning progresses okay and then you can continue to use ice don't keep ice on for a prolonged period of time just ice for maybe ten, five to ten minutes okay and then you can you know take the ice pack off you know wait 30 to 40 minutes and if you need to ice again you can okay and then again you really don't want to take Motrin because we don't want to increase your chance of bruising and I know you got Arnica so she got the Arnica sublingual tablets mm -hmm. which are great so here we are after our injections with hot lips Lauren um, so tell me how the whole process went for you um, to be honest I was I was pretty nervous uh, needles scare me like big time so I couldn't look <laughs> I know you said it was really small but I couldn't look um, and I I was actually pretty comfortable like with the, the vibrating help from Bobo and then um, I think someone was uh, massaging my leg kind of and so it takes away from like noticing um, like the, the pain or any of the discomfort. It wasn't really too painful. It was more just like the very first time you pricked it was that's when I noticed it and I was like, oh my gosh. And then after that it, it was like smooth sailing. But it didn't take that long. I mean it couldn't take more than what five minutes or something like that. It, I mean it was very quick and um, I still don't know if I'm closing my mouth all the way or <laughs> if I'm not. You still feel a little, little of the numbing. The numbing is okay. still there. I know you said it was supposed to last for another 40 minutes or so. Um, so, but yeah, I feel really comfortable. I love them. I know they're, you said they're a little, like starting to swell already. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm so surprised at how much I, I love them. So. Oh, good. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. 
So today, after, now that you're all finished, I want you to go home and rest or go back to work, whatever you're gonna do. Use your little ice pack. Um, we'll give you another one so that you can put that one in the freezer when you're done. Um, and then just no heavy duty activity. So if you're gonna go out tonight and have any fun, just uh, take it easy. Okay. And um, try not to use any Motrin, Advil, or Ibuprofen. Tylenol is great, or those Arnica tablets that you got. Um, sub sublingual Arnica is great. Okay. And if you do get any bruising, it should subside. And uh, it looks like you might have one little tiny spot, but it looks right there. And but it looks great. It's uh, very common to have a little bit of bruising and a tiny bit of swelling. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you. You look great. Yeah, I feel. I feel really good. Do you have any <laughs> questions for me? Um, I don't think so. I think you covered everything. I, I'll see you in nine months. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> or you have my number. So if yeah. you have any other further questions later on this evening or tomorrow, you can give me a call. Okay. And we'll check back up on you and see how you're doing tomorrow. Okay. Thank All you. right. Yay. Hi everyone, it's Lauren again. It's been a couple weeks and I love my lips. They're amazing. I feel like this is how they were intended to be since day one. Um, yeah, you guys need to come down here and see Susan because she's obviously the best. Um, bye. <laughs>